Hey, it's Joe with Sonically Disrupted. Time for an album review. An album that comes out on November 29th is the band K-O Dot. K-A-Y-O-D-O-T. The album is Moss Grew on the Swords and Plowshares Alike. Um, this is a really interesting, very progressive doom black metal-y sort of weirdness if that's your thing there's a lot to really dig into on this album you got seven tracks they're all long they're all um odd beautiful intense one of the best things i like about this album is half of the time you don't have a clue what the hell you're listening to a lot of soundscapes and just these massive tones coming at you many different instruments you know you got your basics but you got a ton of synths and you got horns and you got violin you got all kinds of things going on in here um it's one of these projects with no rules the lyrics are fantastic throughout here. Really deep, really heavy. But there's no rules. Very unpredictable. And that's what makes the album exciting is the unpredictability of it. You don't know where you're going next. You could be in this drony, just sludgy state for six minutes and then go off into something completely different. You got classical influences on here. You got jazz influences on here. The drumming is fantastic throughout here. And a lot of really excellent bass riffs going on in here, too. Um, just really interesting. This album is more about the experience. It's not, let's say, if you're just looking for hooky songs that are catchy and fun and short. Don't even attempt to listen to this. Don't do it. Trust me. You won't like it. But if you want an experience, if you want an experimentation of music and almost a whole new genre of music altogether, this is definitely worth a listen. Um... It sounds excellent. Like I said, it's very slow, very doomy. A lot of droning. But you also got just some really magnificent musical passages. You got some of the most unpredictable chord progressions that you'll find. Some of it sounds atonal, where you have no clue what key it's even in. Um, very experimental very avant-garde i didn't say that right at all i always get that word wrong i'm not even sure what the word means i've never looked it up i mean i know what it means kind of but i don't know the actual definition for it i just see it um but uh yeah this is really interesting stuff i guess the band has been around since 2003 and they've always been experimental and like i said this is very very progressive but very doomy and heavy as well um the necklace is fantastic get out of the tower is cool void in vertigo is absolutely beautiful um and every other song is definitely interesting and will take you on a trip and an definite adventure um if you are high on something while listening to it, it may enhance the experience. I don't know, but uh, it's definitely one of those albums. Like I said, it's the experience. It's the letting go and just absorbing this sound that's coming at you. It's more that than, oh yeah, I love that chorus. That's, forget all about that. There's... That doesn't really exist in this. This is very just, you know, like I said, no rules. 
nothing's painted inside the lines on this at all. Um, and for that, I love it for that. It's not an album that I'm going to go back to every day. It's one of those albums you have to be in the mood for. But if you're in the mood for it, if you're in the mood for something experimental, something out there, something different, this, my friends, is a great listen. So give it a shot. K.O. Dot. Moss grew on Swords and Plowshares alike. Comes out on October 29th, which is tomorrow. It may be today when you're watching this, or it may be a already be out by the time you're watching this who knows but anyway very interesting music indeed so give it a shot anyway thank you very much for watching see you